These white-naped cranes are one of the world's most vulnerable bird species, and many of them spend their winter in the demilitarized zone near Chowdhuan County. Retired photojournalist E.E. E. Gu sees great potential to develop wilderness tourism in a place he has been bird watching, especially of cranes, for decades. This area has such qualities of nature beauty that can attract not only Korean, but also foreign tourists. If the habitat is further developed into a tourist site, I believe it will receive global attention. Limited tours are now being offered in the civilian control zone, but local activists recognize the need to keep visitor numbers down. Unconditional development of the Chad One area is human greed. The answer is balance, preserving nature, and allowing a habitat for the cranes to visit and rest. Seeding the Hantan riverbed helps fuel the cranes' migration. Many locals hope the region can one day open up further to tourists and believe that North Korea's harvest shortfalls are driving more birds south of the DMZ no-man's land. Turning the DMZ into a wildlife tourism reserve will mean overcoming more than just political challenges. In addition to the visible infrastructure, the fencing and barriers, the border regions are littered with approximately two million landmines, which would take years to clear. The so-called peace crane represents that desire for political change. Day and night, the people of Chadwan endure living two kilometers or even one kilometer from the border fences. I hope unification to occur soon so that northern areas of the DMZ can also become accessible to both cranes and people. In early spring, the white-naped cranes fly back over North Korea to summer breeding grounds in Mongolia and Russia. Frank Smith, TRT World, Chorwon, South Korea.